Drake just responded to Kendrick's surprise diss on Future and Metro's album with the 4 minute leak diss, Drop and Give Me 50, a reference to Kendrick's old TDE contract that took 50% of his revenue. Here's a breakdown of all the shots he took at Travis Scott, Rick Ross, Future, Metro, The Weeknd, and Kendrick. I'll be meeting Metro at a private reception at my college this week, so let me know down below if you have any questions you want me to ask. The main theme of his Kendrick disses are height jokes, How the fuck you be stepping with a size seven man's on? and that Kendrick has no freedom or financial control when it comes to his catalog. Pull your contract, cause we gotta see the split. Drake has a $500 million deal with Universal and gets to keep his masters. So he's clowning Kendrick for whenever his label tells him to drop and give them 50%. Referencing all the random features that they make him do, like this Maroon 5 song, and this Taylor Swift song. He goes after The Weeknd who just dissed him on We Still Don't Trust You, calling out his manager Cash XO for extorting him. The first two lines of the song respond to Future calling him his number one fan on We Don't Trust You. I can never be nobody number one fan. Reminding him that he gave him his first number one song with Way Too Sexy. Your first number one, I had to put it in your hand. He takes a similar shot at Rick Ross, reminding us of his past life as a fed with this line. I might take your latest girl a cover like on Ricky. And sampling Rick Ross's own ad lib to call him out for his suspect relationship with Diddy. Don't worry about whatever going on with you hey. Even called out Travis Scott, who he praised as more successful than Kendrick in this line. Now, Travis got you white now. But expressed his disapproval for Travis egging on the beef at Rolling Loud. And basically confirming his rumored relationship with Kylie Jenner, the mother of Travis's child. He took this shot at Metro for producing the diss. But back to Kendrick, he makes it clear that he's not gonna back down from dissing him like Cole did. And he responded to this line from Like That. With this line. He also name drops his wife Whitney with this line that references Whitney Houston's The Bodyguard. And he claims that Kendrick's been sitting on a diss that he knows about for four years. And that if he really wants to push him, he has more dirt in the arsenal to clap back with. This ain't even everything I know, don't wait the demon up. All in all, Drake uses this diss to go 20v1 on competition that he sees as nowhere near him money-wise and hits-wise, pointing out how these artists have to rely on streamers like Kai Sinat to get buzz for their albums. Kendrick's diss and the shock factor of its surprise drop made it hard to respond, but Drake held his own here. Let me know what you thought down below and subscribe for breakdowns on everything in this beef as it develops.